Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what happens when you own more than one Amazon Echo, otherwise known as the Amazon Alexa device. So here with me, I have the full-size Amazon Echo, and then I also have the Dot, Amazon Echo Dot device. So uh, before we get started, just a couple of notes. One, this is not a paid endorsement. I do not get paid by Amazon to make these videos. I think I'm just sharing good content with my subscribers and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. Two, uh, just to let you know, when you see this red ring at the top of my devices, they are on mute. That means they cannot hear what I'm saying. So as I'm going through this video, um, I am going to uh, turn it, this is when they can hear me. Alexa, what is one plus two? The sum of one and two is three. But if I press the red button, it can't hear me more. Alexa, what is one plus one? I will be switching back and forth in terms of muting and unmuting these devices in the video just so that you can see kind of how it works. All right, so back to our topic. What happens when you have more than one Amazon Echo device in your home. And you know, really the bigger question is why would you have more than one Amazon Echo device in your home? Well, the first person that I met with more than one of these devices explained to me that he purchased a dot for everywhere in his house. He lives in a big three-story house and he hooked up all of his lights to his home, uh, to a smart home system. And now when he's in the basement, Alexa, turn tower lamp on. Okay. He can turn on all the lights in the upstairs. And then when he gets upstairs and he wants to turn off all the lights in his basement, he's, he can go to another device and say, Alexa, turn tower lamp off. Okay. So this is great. You can control your devices from anywhere in your house uh, with multiple devices. So if you have, you know, if you only had one, you'd only be able to control your lights from wherever it could hear you from. So if you have a three-story house, uh, you know, like a two-story house with a basement, then you might need uh, more than one of these. And uh, my friend did that. So I think that's, that was pretty cool. So what if you have more than one Echo device? When you start talking, are they both going to respond and kind of talk over each other and be kind of annoying, or will just one respond? So according to Amazon, only one of your devices, if they can both hear you, will respond. The one that's closer, the one that can hear you better. So let's try that now. Alexa, what is one plus two? The sum of one and two is three. As you can see, only one of my devices responded, the one that could hear me better. So I guess I was, my voice is a little bit closer to these microphones on top here. So it selected that device. So they're not supposed to conflict with each other. Now, if you don't wanna take the chances that both devices will respond or you just wanna talk to one at a time, uh, what some people do is they change the wake word on one of their devices. But that also requires that you remember which device is which name too. So let me show you how to do that right here. And I'm gonna, so what you do is you go into your companion app and you go to settings and then you go to your device. So my first one is called the Echo right here. And I'm going to change the wake word and you can change it from Alexa to Amazon or Echo. So you only have three choices on what you change the wake word to. You can't change it to Susan or Caroline or anything else right now. So maybe they might change this in the future, but as of the recording today, uh, you have three choices and then you can select that and then you can save that and it says it'll, it'll take a few minutes. So I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna continue on with this demo. So the next thing I wanna show you is I wanna talk about music on your Amazon Echo. So if you're in the bedroom and you've got you know one playlist going and then you're in the basement and you've got another playlist going, you can have them playing two separate songs at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna demo that to you right now. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna say, Alexa, play the only girl. Playing the only girl. All right, so we've got that going on in one room. I'm gonna turn the volume down quite a bit. And then now I'm gonna go up to my other one and say, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna mute this one. I say, Alexa, play world map. Playing world map. 
So now that's going on. So now I'm going to unmute this one. You can have two playlists, two songs going on in two different rooms. So, so you're not going to, I'm going to unmute this one. But now I'm going to say, Alexa, stop. And they both respond. They both stop, not just um, one stop. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought that was kind of cool. Like if you get a phone call and you say, oh, I've got to get, I got to mute everything. Alexa, you just scream, Alexa, stop. And then they're all, they're all stop. So I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing, you can see what each one is playing in a separate playlist. So on the companion app, you'll select on the left-hand side, now playing, and then you'll choose Echo for this one. So it was playing the song called The Only Girl, and this is, this is it right here. You can also see the history too, of all the songs I had playing for this device. Now, if I click on Echo Dot, you'll see I was playing the song called World Map on this device and you'll see um, the, the history and the queue right here. So they are separate playlists on these devices and you can see them on your companion app. So I thought that was pretty cool too. So that's the next little uh, tip and trick about having two devices and how they work together. So let me tell you another thing that they're kind of separate about. Um, timers and alarms. So if you set a timer or alarm on one device, it is just local to that device. So this is good because if you set a, an alarm for 5 a.m., you've got to get up really early in the morning for work. You don't want all of your devices going off at 5 a.m. waking up everybody in your house, right? So let me show you that right now. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. So I've got, I've got a... 10 minute timer going right here. I'm going to mute this. Now I'm going to unmute this one, go to another, say I'm, pretend I'm going to another room. I'm going to say, Alexa, cancel timer. No timer is set. So it's local to this specific device. So let me uh, put this back on mute and do this one. Alexa, cancel timer. 10 minute timer canceled. There you go. So the timers and alarms. They are local to the device. Um, pretty much everything else is in the cloud. If it's accessible from the cloud, then it is accessible on either device. For example, my calendar, uh, my shopping list, my to-do list, and my skills and my music are all accessible from both devices. So, I'll sh so for example, uh, this is one of the nice things I like and the little tip and trick here. Alexa, tell me my calendar. Here are the next four events. Meet with Joe is in progress and ends at 3 p.m. Today, at 3.30 p.m. there's marketing status meeting. At 7 p.m. there's dinner at your favorite restaurant. You can uh, hear your next calendar appointments right here on your Alexa. You can also add calendar appointments right here on your device. And if you activate a skill, they're activated for both devices. Alexa, enable daily buzzword. Okay, I've enabled it. It may take a minute until you can begin using it. To start, just say, Alexa, open daily buzzword. All right, I'm going to mute this one. Go back to this one. Let's see if it works. Alexa, open daily buzzword. The daily buzzword from Merriam-Webster. Butter, as a noun, means in sense one, a solid yellow fatty food made by churning milk or cream, in sense two a substance resembling butter in texture or use. That is a, a skill that I enabled on this device, but then I played on this device. So this is something that's not local to the device. Uh, so there are a lot of little nuances in having two devices. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, number one, they don't conflict with each other. So that's the best part. You can have two in two different rooms, listen to two different soundtracks. So fun for the whole family. Um, if you think of anything, other, other tips and tricks for having more than one device, uh, please post your comments uh, below in my video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.